Paul Vanderwerf of uh, the Earthen Group gave me this idea. I saw this on his website. These are basically wicking beds. The difference between a wicking bed and what I'm coining as an earthen bed is that water flows in and out on a continuous basis or at least periodically throughout the day. This helps to keep the water from became, becoming anaerobic. There's uh, about six inches of, of drain rock, you know, inch and a half to two inch drain rock placed in the bottom of each of these containers. And I have found that I can build these least expensively using IBCs. I've, um, I've built them out of uh, wood and fiberglass the, the inside, but that uh, it was a lot of work and it became more expensive. And uh, so this is, this is the plan is to use IBCs and an IBC can be cut in half. This could be the top and this could be the bottom, top and bottom. And I would place them up off the ground just a, a, a bit. It makes it nice for uh, leaning over and gardening. So anyhow, P Paul Vanderwerf created this idea of using the inch and a half to two inch drain rock down here with a, about six inches worth. And then draining off the water at about four inch depth, leaving about a two inch airspace. The rock is then covered with a shade cloth or a uh, drain field cloth in order to keep the soil above from getting down into the into the uh, rocks. The soil is uh, composed of one-third garden soil, one-third clay, and one-third sand. And the clay gives the soil a good wicking ability. So the beds are constructed quite easily just by cutting the IBC in half, putting them on some blocks to keep them elevated, putting a uniseal into the side at about four inches off the bottom, and then placing a two inch pipe for a drain. Now a two inch pipe, uh, you could have an elbow on here, but it could, it could easily be cleaned out at any time uh, just by taking, taking that off, or it could just be left this way. And all of these would drain into either a four inch pipe or just a, a simple um, rain gutter to collect the water and uh, bring that back to a sump tank where it's then pumped back up. The water would be pumped into these uh, four inch pipes that uh, extend down to the bottom of each bed and the water would flow through on a, either a continuous basis or uh, it could be periodic throughout the day, say 15 minutes, um, four or five times a day. That's the way I've currently got my system set up. Uh, it is winter time, and uh, so it's a little cooler now, and I'm just using uh, a timer to periodically uh, run some water through the earthen beds. Now I'll give you a little fly around here. So my bricks look kind of hollow there, but uh, you get the idea. There's a, there's a water level, which would be at the pipe, and then there's uh, the rocks that come up to about so far, and the rest is all dirt with uh, a four inch piece of pipe, which would actually go down to the bottom of this uh, IBC. It's 
it's drawn here just going down to the top of the rocks but i would i would go all the way down